breaking news. Simon Ekpang finally challenged Nigerian government over the declarations of Biafrans that will commence in 2024. As a prime minister sent this strong challenge to Nigerian government that there is nothing he has not said that he have not done, that he have able to actualize his vision over the declarations of Biafrans in 2024. Hear the news in the hotels. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. Welcome back to Biafra TV. Today's date is 29th of March 2024. And the Biafra United TV is still updating all the Biafra all over the world. As the information is coming, making sure that all the Biafra all over the world is participating on the latest happening in Biafra United States. Let's quickly go to the reasons why we are here. Hmm. Right now, according to the urgent information landing on our table for the very moment, is concerning the freedom of Biafrans. As Simon Ekpan finally challenged the Nigerian government over how the Biafra will be declared in 2024 without no cause. And he also said that nothing he have known says that he have not done that they have able to actualize the visions of Biafrans as it been the information in the hotels by the hotels and showing all the Biafrans all over the world to pay a very good attention to the government of BROGIA the government of Biafrans that are in processing of the vision accomplishment of Biafrans visions and goals and right now we don't have more time to be expatiating and analyzing this information we want all of you to stay on the line as we direct you right away to the broadcast of where Sam Nekba is making the full exposition and as you are watching this particular information right now, we want you to pay a very good attention and make sure you are sharing and also dropping your experience or the comment section what to think about this information. And then if they are good, they can make some, get some ideas from there. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. But think about it that you are part of the committee and you receive one million suggestion how will you handle it <laughs> okay all right uh, it will be so uh, it will be uh, really a big task to deal with all right that's why uh, we are following the uh, international standard of democratic system the government is that you don't actually allow everybody to bring something in you give people the mandate give the trust and believe that they will deliver and because what we are talking about is something that is there open for people to know we just want to formally demonstrate their readiness to embrace a true civilization and a true democracy that's why we are throwing this open otherwise like i said two person can actually write this declaration and seal it so if we do it like that we are going to receive one million of different opinion and then you begin to scrutinize it one after the other it does not make a lot of sense to us it's going to be a distraction but that's why we focus on making sure that those who are interested in being part of the committee can come and then you can discuss it have a two hours meeting uh, for a session and then you will drive something have another meeting two hours drive something have another meeting two hours done until we have a complete brief of our grievances listed and uh, that will make a lot of sense to people to the united nations to america to europe and every other country that are interested in knowing what biafra is going through and why we will be declaring biafra in finland thank you thank you thank you sir a pleasure to speak to you today sir remember thank you very much. remember everybody must remember that i have never said something and it didn't happen Remember that when I started this thing, I told them we are going to bring Biafra from diaspora. It is happening. The declaration will be in diaspora and the restoration will happen in Biafra land. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Escoban? You have the mic. Please, if you want to speak, raise up your hand so you can record up, okay? Okay. 
Good afternoon, dear friends all over the world. Good afternoon, Prime Minister. Good afternoon, the ministers in the building. Sir, please, my question is, you know, they, are, they say for a government to function properly, you have to be the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary. So my question is about the judiciary. What kind of judiciary system are we going to be practicing in Biafra, or is it something that will be deliberated after the restoration? Then my second question is, the judges that are of Biafra descent that are currently serving under Nigeria, after the declaration of Biafra, will they be retained, or will they be dismissed, or will they be sent back to school? Because it's obvious they will not be accustomed with the law of Biafra. Then, tell you, sir, my question is, the LC, um, the chapter, the LCK chapter, is there a way we in the homeland can get it, maybe through PDF? You know, we can't get the raw copy. So I would like to, you know, go through it, read it, get accustomed with the constitution, before the declaration or even after the declaration. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to make uh, the uh, chapter available and the We are going to... Can this as a done meet himself? It's not as a done, that's a God know it. It's God know it. Okay, so we're going to um, have the charter of Biafra a second declaration digitized. I will give that directive in a few days time. So we may have it in Amazon and other places. So yes, we are going to make that uh, possible for download. But at the same time, the charter is the first and original charter which is subject to amendment. And in Helsinki Second Convention, the charter will be updated. So. Uh, it is very important that you have the old, the real original charter and then the, the updated charter that will be uh, unveiled in Helsinki for the second convention that will include the work and everything that have been done, that we have done from 2023 after the declaration till 2024 in the second uh, declaration and uh, the unveiling of the charter. So, and then the issue... Who is this guy? Can you remove this person as a dumb, please? Remove him. Please. Thank sir, you. sir, I've removed him. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and then the issue of uh, the justice system, uh, we are starting, uh, you know, putting up the Biafra justice system and the, uh, the chief justice of Biafra will be announced very, very soon. Remember that the government is still in exile. So the justice, the chief judge of Biafra will also be in exile. It's going to be someone somewhere in the diaspora. So we are working on the justice system. And for now, we will probably have a modern of the Finnish justice system. The Finnish justice system is what we are going to have uh, at this point. Sorry, somebody has been interrupting me with a telephone call from Luxembourg. I don't know who that person is. So, I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. All right. Someone has been interrupting me with a uh, phone call. All right. So, yes, with the justice system uh, will be unveiled as well, of course, in the declaration. But before then, we will announce the, uh, the uh the uh, the chief judge of the Biafra and of course we're going to have some kind of uh, designed uh, uh, justice system of Biafra it is going to be almost the same thing with Finland which is uh, you know uh, the only way to get justice and um, and uh, follow the rule of law so we're going to have that like I said we will bring Finland to Biafra most of the ones that we feel that works for us we will adopt them. Most of those that we feel that needed development, we need to build and develop on our own, we are going to do that. So uh, this is what uh, we are going to offer to the Afro people, where justice, equity, fairness will be supreme. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call an Exodus? You have the mic. Exodus, you have the mic. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. This is good, man. Thank you so much uh, for giving me the mic. 
Um, thank you, our joy giver, our prime minister. You, you are our joy giver. I just want to ask if um, there is a particular um, broadcast that we in the media need to be doing right now because of the stage that we are in. Is there any uh, particular type of broadcast that you really expect from us to be doing right now so that uh, we can really be hitting, hitting it where it really matters most? Uh, that is what I want to know from you, uh, beloved Prime Minister. Adjoy yes, you. the broadcast that you need to be doing now is to hammer on the killings happening across Nigeria, sponsored by Nigeria government for the Islamics, for the total Islamization of Nigeria. The news coming from all corners of the north, the killings of Christians, bandit taking over Abuja in Niger State, for example, is just a one hour drive from Abuja. They are there killing people every day. These are the things that need to be uh, you know, broadcast every day. And of course, the, the next level of the Biafra liberation, including this declaration that is going to happen in Finland. So you can boldly be broadcasting about the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra in 2024, because that is what the enemy don't want to hear. They think that when they hear that you are going to declare Biafra, they will okay. do everything they say is not going to happen. Their own is to sabotage it not to happen. Like I said, you can never sabotage it. The only thing that can delay us on this declaration is when there is no finance to purchase arms and ammunition to defend our land. And I believe that Biafra will come out and troop out in numbers to do what they have not done before. So all we need is just arms and ammunition to defend our land so that you are not going to be killed the way you are. They are, they are getting killed in other parts of Nigeria. Thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you, sir. So we broadcast about the, the terrorism of the Nigerian uh, terrorist government and then the declaration of Biafra. And then we hammer also on the phones, the aspect of phones, because that is what brings about the arms and the ammunition that we need exactly. to declare Biafra. Exactly. Thank you, sir. And why are you not in the media yet? I am in the media. I've been doing my space. Uh, it's just that we, we, you said you will call for a meeting so that we resolve some issues. And that meeting has not yet been called. But I've been doing my spaces. I've been doing my spaces. All right. Noted. Copy. Thank you. Uh, Judge of God, you have the mic, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, my Prime Minister, I want to just uh, say something that I want to say before I will say the last word. Um, uh, there are some statements you made before the beginning of this year and uh, as this year started. Before the beginning of this year, you said that every company, more especially those that has to do with our mineral resources, must pass through the Biafra Republic government in Ezra. And that is a job you give to Nigerian government. And uh, early this year, a few days ago, I think yesterday when we were in space, you said, you talked about the Biafra flag, that the Biafra flag, and I have gone to check what you're saying is nothing but the truth. And that is a job you give to the IPOP Nigeria. And again, you talked about the redeclaration. This is a job you give to both the IPOP Nigeria and the Nigeria themselves. Oh, that guy doesn't So I want to thank you, my Prime Minister. I, that is not a, a question but uh, a compliment. Then, my Prime Minister, I also want to ask you this question. Those that are elected in the cabinet of the Biafra Republic government in Ezra, which are working with you, are they supposed to be respected? When they are being respected, are they respecting your opinion? Or are they, those people that are respecting them, are they respecting that person as a person, or as a person that is representing the government? So I would like you to clear this to us. Those people that you elect on the government in Ezra, did the Biafrans need to respect them as people that are representing them? 
at that capacity. Thank you, sir. Uh, before the PM, before the PM will answer this question, let me say this to you, please. Uh, we are we are not a government and not a group. All the serving ministers, de facto leaders, are powered by the Biafran Charters. And in the Biafran Charter, it is supreme. The Biafran Charter gave everyone the power to go to do whatever according to his own duty. You are Minister of Information, it is from the Charter. Our Prime Minister is being given his power from the Charter. And to the list of the government is from the Charter. The Charter is our supreme document and our supreme law. And everyone who is maybe serving under a department, who uh, somebody is spearheading, you are not respecting that person. You are not respecting Simon Epa. You are respecting the Biafran Charter that was unanimously given to us by the people. That is it. So go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, just like the sisters have said, uh, but above all, the Biafra uh, cabinet members uh, are people that you must accord respect for their various positions. The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government is, uh, is responsible for running the day-to-day -day affair of the government overall. Whoever I have appointed to do something represents me. And that respect that you are according to me must be accorded to such person until the person is relieved of his duty or her duty. But for the fact that that person has been appointed by the Prime Minister who superhead and run the affairs of the government on daily basis, that respect must be accorded to such person. So everybody that is in the cabinet is being appointed and accepted by the Prime Minister and must be respected just the way you respect me. Thank you so much, uh, my Prime Minister, for that uh, answer. Why I said this is because of the question you were asked here. Because our people will say that none of the goes to Because of the question that is asked. Yes, sources. Well, yes, I know where you are. I wait, wait, it. I, my brain is very sharp. I know we are driving into, and right now we're on program. PM will handle that matter when time comes. He said, he said, copy it. Understand him. It's okay. Copy. It's okay. And let it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, my Prime Minister. I salute you from here. God bless you. Thank you, uh, thank you, Judge God, and thank you, my Prime Minister. Can we go on, sir? I will call on uh, God Know It. God Know It, you have your question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will count uh, this opportunity as a very good privilege to talk with the, the man and only I call a new dimensional. In person of E.M. Simon Ackman, I so much cherish both spiritually and uh, physically. Sir, I so much thank God for this privilege to talk to you. Then, let me go to my question, sir. Sir, I wanted to know who are you and uh, Apart from your educational background, apart from apart from your education, or you are what you know, because what you are doing is beyond what an African man can do. For example, we. For my own understanding, I discovered that these uh, Fulani people, the Uveda and the uh, uh, Britain, they come very early and they are intimidated. They start from the origin many years ago, in injecting fear in people of so called one Nigeria. They're killing both big men. 
Timbans and Calibas home and abroad, they killing intimidating people for many, 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 many years. And they have achievement of doing that. And then this uh, generation, they come in conclusion of Islamization. Based on what they have done, you, you can bear my witness that even the big men that are supposed to be speaking, they are no longer speaking. Why? Because the Fulani people and the, and the Britain has already inflated them with a, a multiple fear in them. Some of them are afraid, even when they kill, none of them can say anything. Now my question is, apart from your education, what made you have that the boldness that you will defeat these people? Because it's not easy. What, what gives you that morale? What gives you, apart from your education, what gives you that strength to carry this uh, bold victory? Because we already, you already defeated them. You already messed them up. Because you already messed this giant up. They're already on the, on the ground, licking the dust. That was why you see some people coming to you for refuge, coming to you for help. That is the symbol there. So, so that is my question. Or well, if you can enlighten me a little bit, because it's not, it's not actually an African man can be able to have this uh, boldness to go and defeat this kind of Goliath. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We have defeated them already. That's why we are talking about declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra. Well, if you want to know me, you will go first of all and swim to the deep sea. When you jump inside the deep sea and come out alive, you will know who I am. I remain a mystery and the mathematics and the equation Nigeria will never solve. Above all, the God of the land of Biafra, Chikogika Biyama, is the one that has given the wisdom and the strength that we have used today to decimate Nigeria and collapse it. So like I said, whoever wants to know who Simon Ekpa is, will go first of all to the ocean, jump inside it, come out. Believe me, when you are coming out, you will have my nakedness right in front of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. You, thank you. You are my boldness. Thank you very much. You really answer my question clearly. <laughs> it is the Chukwu Kikabiyama. It is God's strength, it is not man's strength. Thank you, sir. So, very much. So, thank you. So, when much. are you jumping into the sea? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to jump. He doesn't need to jump. Okay. Thank you, sir. Can we call on our uncle? You have the mic. Sir. Ma, 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 what was the before him? No. Ma, 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 and uh, Merry Biafra to every one of us that has gathered on this space today. Um, good afternoon to you from Ghana. I'm Prime Minister Simon Epa. I am your comrade, although we did not serve in the same military. Mm -hmm. I was once a member of the Nigerian military force and I resigned a warrant officer because of the criminality that they wanted to use me to carry out against the southern Kaduna people where I was serving under our mechanized infantry division Kaduna. Mazi Simon Ekpa, I have been listening to you even before our supreme leader was kidnapped from Kenya. I am not a full-blooded Biafran. My mother is 
from the Ngwa tribe, Nabia state in Biafra land. And my father is a Ghanaian from the Kusasa tribe in the upper eastern part of Ghana. Is your name, is your name Maxwell? My name is Maxwell Awimbun. Okay. I'm a Ghanaian from my father's side. And I've been following you even before our Supreme Leader was kidnapped. I spoke in your platform before where they accused me of an uh, informant. And yes. since that time, I have been here and I've been speaking, doing even what the full-blooded Biafrans cannot do. Yes, they have been marginalizing, they have been marginalizing you in Dr. Damage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 but that will not stop me from propagating and doing anything that is going to restore my mother's ancestral land, get it rid of those invaders, aliens that we have nothing in common with. I have no question for you. The Nigerian army trained me in so many ways. They trained me in Russia, they trained me in North Korea, they trained me in Libya. And I have the expertise that can at least help to restore Biafra if need be. You said that if it is going to be difficult to bring Biafra from the Biafra land, Biafra will be brought from the diaspora. And exactly that is what you are doing. It is not by your mind. You were blessed and called to do this job when others has failed, have failed. I say, may God continue to bless you in anything that you are doing in order to restore my mother's ancestral land. And I would like to say this, will you be against anything anyone amongst us have done or are going to do in order to propagate the freedom of our people, my mother's ancestral land, and Biafra and the freedom of our people? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Uncle. I can hear. Can someone hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. I can hear you. Everywhere kept you know was quiet. Can we call on uh, Sabi Boots? Sabi, Sabi Boy, Boy. You have the mic, sir. I don't know you. Sabi, are you there? Okay, my can talk. Sabi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Mike, sir. Your question, one minute, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, my Prime Minister. Am I coming out clear, please? Yes, sir. Can you wake up and talk as a dear friend? Nobody can damn in this story. Okay, okay, okay. Can you hear me now? Speak up, Hello. okay. Maybe I should come back from the back. Maybe my connection is bad. Hello? We can hear you, sir. Can you speak? Your one minute is gone. Okay. So, Mazi, Onye, Onye, Buchi. On your cheap beds, you have the mic. Mazi cheap beds, you have the mic, sir. Thank you, my sister. Maybe we are going to run some of the hand call. I don't know how to say thank you. You are the utmost. I just wanted to say thank you so much for what you are doing. And I all protocol observe for the ministers, all those who are holding the line, thank you for being here. And even those who are listening, uh, what we are doing, bringing them more. Unless we bring them more before you will be able to understand, you have to go spiritual. You know, some people are trying to find out the who made the way come back. You have to go into spiritual before you will understand. If not, you would not understand. But we move. My own uh, 
it's just it's not a question it's a it's kind of suggestion if you can be able to you know you know push the media a little bit uh because of our referendum and vote about uh, our people who are everywhere both in diaspora the ones who are home for the vote and when it's ready so that those people who are not aware will be aware so that they could be able to vote you know you were elaborating the other day in our space when uh, someone were asking you what of those who don't have a phone you were telling them those who have phone will give them and help them to do that you know let our media be able to because it's very close so that they could be able to push this in all platforms yeah i saw uh, the lady who uh, dry, uh, putting this together was talking about when the time comes i saw it on uh, on our platform if our all our medias in our platform will be able to do this let the people create that awareness the more so that uh, our people will not left behind thank you that's all i have uh -huh. thank you very much yes we are going to make sure that media focus on that and uh, remember that uh, when we are ready the uh, information will be uh, passed to the public and then we are going to watch the first uh, month of data collection you know how uh, uh, acquainted our people are to the uh, platform and then we will uh, amend accordingly so uh, our target like i said is from 20 million 20 million people upward once we have 20 million people upward we will announce the date of the convention in Finland. So uh, people should understand that as you are registering for the database, you are also voting for the FR referendum. It is a system that uh, you can never cheat. So we are building this thing to be international standard, to be what is going to shock the world and everybody that comes across our database collection and the Biafra referendum voting will be proud of what Biafra government has done. So you can't cheat it. There is no rigging. Nigeria can never rig. There is no opportunity for anybody to rig. As you are registering your information, you are voting yes or no for Biafra. Thank you.